So welcome to Project Freebie. And as you can see, it's back in the workshop. And the reason why it's back in the workshop, because we're going to be dealing with removing the engine. Yes, it's about time the ABF went in. I've got all the jigsaw puzzle pieces, and now it's about time to make the jigsaw puzzle. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys on this journey week by week. We're going to be doing step by step, kind of whole chunks, then removing the engine, prepping the engine bay for spray. Uh, what else? Ooh. Pedal box conversions and loads of stuff we're going to be doing on this. So yeah, it's going to be step by step showing you guys. Now today, we're going to pull, pull the engine out. To make your life a lot easier, just remove the whole front panel. So we're going to remove the grill, the bumper, the radiator, the slam panel, which this one's all rusty and flaky. So I've got some spare ones. I've got some good panels on the wall. I've got a few down. All right, let's start with taking this grill off. This is actually looks like it's in good condition. 191. Okay, it's an original part. All right, cool. So, took the front end off, so far so good. So as you can see, the engine bay is looking a bit sorry for itself. After 31 years, definitely needs a freshen up. Now I can't decide actually what color I'm gonna go for. If I'm gonna stick to the original uh, royal blue metallic, or if I go for another slight different color on the blue, or if I adjust the, this color a little bit. So it's just a touch brighter maybe. A bit lighter, maybe. Let me see. I'm still undecided. All right. So next thing to do is going to be removing some of what is wiring and his coolant pipes and stuff like that, and then actually then take the drive shafts off. Okay. So that's the drive shafts done. I've also put the wheels back on as well. I've also disconnected the gear selector and also the downpipe, and that's it now. Literally, this is going to be. I can bid now farewell to the 1.3. Okay, so with the engine out, you can really see how bad it is, all the oil leaks and stuff over the years. The easier you make their job, the better the job's gonna be. So I'm just gonna remove uh, the chassis plate off here, gonna remove all the wiring. Totally going to remove the servo, the front brake lines, even that engine mount, the top half, so they can get round it to spray it a lot better. Uh, literally, everything's going to be removed. The only thing that's going to be sitting there is going to be the subframe. Sometimes I actually even drop the subframe. Um, I'm going to loosen also the top mounts and the suspension so they can actually get round in there properly. And obviously, going to remove all of this. So we're going to remove the wipers because they're going to do actually inside. That's got a better panel as well. I'm gonna remove as much as I can or everything from inside there as well. And all the little grommets that, these ones I leave them on because they need to be sprayed, but all the other ones I remove all of them and then I'll replace them if they need to be replaced. So yeah, let's carry on. There's still a lot to do today.
So here we have it, the engine bay, totally stripped, apart from obviously the power steering, but the guys will actually kind of remove that and also remove the steering UJ as well at the time. So they can actually get around to all the little corners. They'll take that all up. But yeah, this is what the engine bay looks like. Totally gutted, ready for the paint shop. Quite happy how it's turned out. I can see the battery box isn't too bad actually. It's got a bit of surface rust here and there, but nothing too bad. They'll treat that. And you can see it's had like a little knock here. Again, I'm going to get them to treat that for me inside there. Make sure that's all rust free. Um, and that's it really. I mean, it's looking, looking quite good. Okay guys, so this is the bay, all stripped down, all the wiring done, everything done. As you can see, some of the paint actually flaked off when I've actually uh, jet washed it off. So that's good, I suppose I've taken off all the loose paint for them. And that's it, it's ready for the paint shop really. So now the tow truck should be here any minute and it's off to the paint shop. And hopefully by next week, you'll see this with the bay all painted. I can't wait to get the bay all painted. I'm still undecided on the colour. I am leaning 80%, 90% to keeping it uh, royal blue metallic. But uh, I might do a little twist on that and maybe get the paint slightly modified. Uh, if not, I'll just keep it original, let me see. But obviously now that I get the bay done, I need to decide what colour. Because I'm not going to have these two tones, engine bay one colour, body another colour. I'm not a fan of that. Sorry, soul. Uh, but so uh, yeah, uh, let's see what happens. Anyway guys, this wraps it up for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling -a -ling. click on that notification bell and be safe.